So it's a single step problem, and the first problem would be r minus 6 equals nine, negative 9. So what you want to do first is multiply 6, so you can do the opposite of division on both sides. 6 times 6, that would cancel. 6, and then is a negative times a positive, so that would give you a negative. So 9 times 6 would be 54, but since it's a negative, that would be negative. 54. And you should bring like R equals negative 54, and this is your answer. So for the second problem, it would be P minus 9 equals 15. So what you want to do here is do the opposite of subtraction, which would be plus 9, and that cancels out. What you want to do here, do the opposite, do the same thing, but on the other side, which would be plus 9. And that should give you 24, okay. you just bring this down, and that will give you your answer. P equals 24, and if you want to check it, all you have to do is 24 minus 9, and it should give you 15, and it's correct because this 15 is right here, and that's how you check it. Negative 2x plus 2 equals negative 10. What you want to do in here is do the opposite of plus will be negative 2. This will cancel out. Now you have to do it to the other side, which will be negative 2. Now you have to add them, which will give you negative 12. After that, you just bring the negative 2x equal sign. What I want to do here is the you, have to, you want to divide here. Negative 2. This cancels out. You divide this over here. Negative 2. And then you just got to bring your x equals. And so is the division. 12, negative 12 divided by negative 2 should give you a positive 6, and x equals 6 is your answer. So it's time for the solving linear equation problems. So right here we have y equals negative 4x plus 12, and the other side we have y equals x plus 2. What you want to do here is combine them, which would be like this. x plus 2 equals negative 4x plus 12. What you want to do now is do the opposite of plus, so the opposite would be negative x. You do, you, this cancels out. While you're here, you bring the negative x. One thing is negative 1x is the same thing as x. So what you want to do here, that should give you five, negative 5x. After this, you just want to bring everything down. Plus 12, plus 2, and the equal sign. After this, you just want to subtract. Subtract, sorry. <laughs> subtract minus 12. That should cancel out. You bring it over here. Minus 12. And this should give you negative 10. After this, you just bring everything down. Equals negative 5x. So in this step, now you have to divide negative 5 on both sides. And this should give you positive 2 equals x. And this should be your answer. Not should be, but if this is your answer. Negative or 2 equals x. This. All right, for this other second problem, we have y equals 3x plus 5, y equals negative 4x minus 2. What y'all want to do here is combine them, which would be easy, negative 4x minus 2 equals 3x plus 5. Now, this negative 4, you have to do the opposite. It would be plus 5, 4, sorry, for x. Now, this cancels. You do it to this side, you do it to the other side, it would be plus 4x, so 4 plus 3 will give you 7, 7x, now after this you just bring everything down, plus 5 equals negative 2. After this step, you want to do the negative 5 because you got to do the opposite, this cancels out due to this side, minus 5, and that should give you, now that should give you negative 7, after that you just bring down everything, equal sign, 7x, after this, you just want to uh, divide 7 on both sides. 7, 7. Now that should give you negative 1 equals x or negative x. And that should be your answer. Not should be, but that's your answer.